Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Rots His Teeth with Sugary Drinks. I'm your host, Insane Ian, and today we have three different Mountain Dew flavors and a very bizarre Pepsi flavor. We have two entries in the Mountain Dew Game Fuel category. Tropical Smash. Bleh. Arctic Burst. Sure. And we have Mountain Dew's Holiday Brew. Okay. And last but not least, Salted Caramel Pepsi. We're gonna use this one last. I've had these for about a week or two, uh, but it's taken me a little bit of time to record this video because I had all these sodas ready to go and then Right when I got the last one, I had to leave on a trip. And had somebody here to watch and feed the cats while I was away, and they drank one. I opened the fridge when I got back and one of them was missing. So I had to find that soda again so that I could make this video. And I did, so here we are. So, let's start with the one I had to find, Tropical Smash. Now, the game fuel for Mountain Dew is the limited every so often edition of stuff that they make for gamers to drink while playing Call of Duty or in this case Forza 7 because you can win an Xbox One X on it. Sure, let's try this. Obviously I don't need to pour it into anything because you can see that it looks like fluorescent urine and it kind of smells like fluorescent urine too all right tropical smash naturally and artificially flavored it doesn't say what tropical smash means and uh none of the ingredients give me a hint so <laughs> bottoms up it's a slightly fruitier mountain dew a little bit more citrusy but it's basically just Mountain Dew with like pineapple, little little pineapple. If you're going for the tropical fruit, yeah, that's. I mean, it's sugary, so it's like I'll be able to stay awake and play Forza Seven, a game that clearly demands you stay awake for it. Well, you don't want to fall asleep behind the wheel, I guess. Sure, that makes sense. Next is Arctic Burst. Now the one on this one is Middle Earth Shadow of War, cause blue. Again, no indication as to what the flavor might be, but it's game fuel, it's blue, and I can win an Xbox One X. Hooray. Yep, that smells like liquid smurf. I hope, I hope that's not a thing. <laughs> Here we go. You ever notice how sometimes blue foods and blue drinks kind of just taste blue? This tastes blue. I can't explain it very well. It tastes blue. It doesn't taste like blueberry. It doesn't taste like... It doesn't really taste like berry. Arctic Burst. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It doesn't tell you what the flavors are. It's blue dew. Blue dew. The faster you say it, the dumber you sound. And it's carbonated hell. Frozen over, apparently. Speaking of frozen over, man. Hand is cold. These have been in the fridge for a while, so, yeah. Now, because of the season, it's time for some holiday brew. They have to call it brew. Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. Fine. Now this, I actually know what it is. Because it tells you. Ultimate Holiday Blend. Dew plus Code Red. So if you remember during the summer, they had Dew SA, which is Mountain Dew, Code Red, and Voltage. So you had your Red, Code Red, your Dew, which is Green, and the Blue, which is Voltage. Dew SA. That's why they didn't call it Red, White, and Dew, I think. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Maybe it actually was the White, because they had a... They had a a white flavor of Mountain Dew. I don't remember what that one is, but the Dew SA tasted like a melted bomb pop. You know what bomb pops are, the little red, white, and blue shaped rocket ship 
lollipops, frozen popsicles. They, like that melted and then carbonation drink. That's what that tasted like. I didn't review it on the video because I had one before I started doing this. But now I've got holiday brew, so here we go. New flavor, it says. No, it's two flavors you mix together because boredom. The fact, the fact that it looks like a melted candy cane. Ugh. It smells like carbonated death. <laughs> I enjoy this, too. This is the thing. I like Mountain Dew, and uh, weird flavors are our thing. I love Mountain Dew Pitch Black. We've established this, and, and uh, Black Label is really great. We'll see how this is. This puts me in a festive holiday mood. That's weird. It tastes like exactly what it says it is. It tastes like code red that somebody poured whatever they had left in their regular Mountain Dew bottle into. Hey, I've got this Mountain Dew, but there's only a little bit left in the bottle and it's not enough to, to quench my thirst. Well, here, pour it into this code red and, and finish off that bottle. Okay. The things they do to sell product. I'm the idiot who buys it. But it's to tell you people about it. Okay then, last and certainly not least, Salted Caramel Pepsi. Now I've had this described to me uh, before. A couple people were fortunate enough to find this a lot earlier than I did. It's taken me a while to find one and then, and then I found one and then the issues that I had I just grabbed. So limited time only, this may not be available in stores anymore. I haven't really been able to find it much since I found it and I was having trouble finding it before. but. I'm excited to try this, because my life is apparently a living hell where I'm all my teeth are going to fall out of my head. But that's fine. Anyway, let's give this a go. It certainly smells caramel. Wow. That is, that is a good hit of caramel right off the top. I'm a little disturbed to try it because salted is in the title. It's not just caramel. So... I doubt that they've like, let's pour some salt into this. Because that would suck. So like Pepsi Fire, it starts out tasting like Pepsi, and then the aftertaste is where the flavor kicks in. And with this, it's a very sickeningly sweet Pepsi flavor. And then the, the wave of caramel coats your throat. It's not bad. It's better than I've had it described to me. I had someone describe it as... Like, drinking liquid melted tires. I'd try it. But it's not bad. It's definitely got the hint of caramel in the flavor. Beyond the normal caramel coloring, it's got caramel flavoring now. Salted caramel is such a popular thing now. They mentioned, right around the time when this came out, that in Japan, they have Christmas Coke. Which is Coke that tastes like birthday cake. Or maybe it's Pepsi. Whatever it is, I want to try it because apparently I have a death wish or something. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything you like about these videos, dislike about these videos, anything at all, leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think of the videos or if there's anything you want me to try in an upcoming video. Also, in case you haven't done so, I'd really appreciate it if you shared and subscribed to my channel. And also, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon. I bring the videos there early, before they hit YouTube. You also get exclusives like behind the scenes, making of videos, commentaries on songs, music videos, and tons of other extra stuff. Plus, you can also check out any of the previous taste test videos in these two playlists. That's all for now. Thanks very much. Y'all have a great day. Bye! Now, what game should I play these with? Ah... Monopoly.